In the Eon 1-4 Easter update, the Souls RT developers nerfed the previous best left had they got it for AF King with Star Shaper. And now there's a new best right had they got it. And yeah. In this video, I'm going to be testing out huh? if the photo light core is still worth crafting, as it is the most expensive left had they got in the game. But using maths to prove which bottle it's dark shader or polite -like core is worth AF King with. So yeah, not gonna lie. So this is pretty bad. I've got the numbers here in look per roll and look per seconds and yeah all i can say is that these results are something and all of these are going to be calculated with just the neuralizer alone i'll tell you guys how you can add on your own boost you can probably redo this yourself in any online graphic calculator if you want but please watch until the end to understand how i found this out and to see which gauntlet is better for you even though in most cases it's gonna be one of the gauntlets but what number what metric will we use to get which gauntlet is the very very best for afk and the maximum amount of look and that's average look per second and average look per roll yeah what does any of that mean that sounds dope all that i can say is yap alert because there's going to be a lot of stuff that you guys might just want to tune out for so if you don't want to hear like me talking about how i got all these numbers just turn your brain off or Skip to the parts where I actually say the results. Now, average look per roll is the average amount of look with the neuralizer and the gauntlet over the amount of rolls it takes to fully use the gauntlet. So, if you're using Pole Light Core, you get nine rolls with just a normal 1x neuralizer, and then on the 10th roll, it would be two times the normal roll. And then you divide all of these rolls, the normal roll, the bonus roll by 10, to get the average look per roll for the gauntlet. So, this is a little bit problematic because it doesn't take into account stuff like the bow light core's extra roll speed so that's why we use average look per second to actually get the results that's what we're going to be looking at it's taking the average look per roll and multiplying it by the rolls per second of the gauntlet now this is basically a roll speed and with the dark shader you pretty much get this average look per roll and get for example just the 70 percent roll speed that i get in neuralizer and you add it with one which is the base roll speed which is just one aura per second to get 1.7 aura per second and we pretty much just multiply that with the dark shaders look per roll to get the final metric to how good the gun is also vip and vip plus are extremely important the 1.2x and 1.3x look is crazy i'll probably show it off to you guys at the end of the video after we get the average look per second and it could be the difference of getting bloodlust and the bizzle hunter if you have vip and vip plus so that's why i'm asking you guys to please subscribe because once we try it out subscribers i've given away 20 of these actually look changing game passes so look at subscribers at comments comment cyber roll to 20k in the comment section with their username and once we 20k i'll pick 20 comments at the world and give them the vip plus that can genuinely get you so much better or us so let's just go to average of parole first and let's explain it for every gauntlet so first of all as you can see up here it's just n equals 8.5 plus 1 now this is the neuralizer we have so the plus 1 is the base look that you have plus the 8.5 or 850 percent that's pretty much our base look you could add on stuff like lucky potions which is like 25 percent or 0 0.25 you just add that onto there to account for that and for the neuralizer pole light core and the gravitational device just for fun it is like one of the better gauntlets you multiply the look of the neuralizer so this by nine to get the nine rolls and then for the final bonus roll you multiply the neuralizer by either two or six depending on what gauntlet you're doing and that's the same for everything but the dark shader as you can see here but the dark shader is more complicated because you've got four times the four normal rolls and the bonus roll of 2x then you get to the two times that it goes up to 2.5x and 5x look and then you divide everything by 30 because that's the final loop and that's pretty much look per roll and just saying but the y-axis is the look and the x-axis is the amount of rolls and as you can see green is just neuralizer blue is well whole light core orange is our gravitational and red is the dark shader as you can see it is absolutely terrible for the whole light core when it comes to average look per roll it's worse than the gravitational device i'm not even joking but unless you're i don't know doing a thousand rolls specifically not counting any of the roll speed buffs of the whole light core dark shader is the best and it's pretty much completely linear to the amount of look that you have. So if you decrease it, it'll be the same. And if you increase it, it'll be the same. And yeah, we can see it on this table again. Just with wood roll, you get like, I'd say three and a half more look per roll. Just that this base look, where you'll probably have slightly more look. Stuff like Grandmaster, VIP Plus and stuff. 
But let's look at the average look per second, which actually takes account the skip of the pole like core. So base or as per second is one, as you can see in A plus 0.7 to get just the neuralizer's row speed. Of course, we can add on Bank's blessing, which you know almost everyone has Bank's blessing, so might as well add it on. Now this will probably slightly change my metrics. And if we were to add something like speed potions, you get the 10% divided by 100 to get like 0.1, which wow that really sucks. And for every gauntlet combo here, you just multiply the 1.77 number with the average roll per second, which is literally just that. And you get your number. But for pole light core, it's different immediately because of the skips. So to get the skips on the pole light core, we first of all get 25 and divided by the base roll speed to get how much time it will take to get nearly 25 rolls on the gauntlet and then with a thousand percent roll speed or 10 or per second to do the five extra rolls that you get it would be 0.5 seconds or just a half because that's how much time it will take to roll at that speed and then 30 which is the amount of rolls that you do divided by the amount of time it takes to do all the rolls gives you your rolls per second which is like about 15 seconds but you can't see it here it's about two auras per second a bit more than the 1.77 but the thing is that doesn't really change it for being a kind of well scam because if we zoom in this green being neuralizer orange being gravitational pole light core being the red and the blue being dark shader and this is at base look by the way and the thing is if you are using a gauntlet above ragnarokker do not use the pole light core at all i mean this it's pretty much completely useless pretty much not worth it unless you got it for free from the spin wheels during christmas so i said it again this gauntlet's trash it's literally useless unless you have ragnarokker or below and if you're using ragnarokker for a lot of boosts or look it becomes useless i have literally no idea why if we abyssal hunter over to it this gauntlet is literally a tier higher than the dark shader meaning that the game says that it's better and before the nerf that was certainly true up to a certain extent it was better but now because of these abysmal nerfs this thing has become an absolute scam do not craft it at all if you didn't get it ever from the spin wheels craft dark shader and never touch this ever just keep it but it's never worth it at all pretty much unless you're like me and are stuck using this because the thing is because i had a higher auras per second or rolls per second there's a thing called the most rolls leaderboard and i'm number 61 on it and the thing is everyone on this leaderboard 100 people maybe more below here are forced to use it and this guy is forced to use that 51 million rolls yeah we're all forced to use this gauntlet that's absolutely terrible now probably why the neuralizer versus Star Shaper AFK, we didn't get that many total 1 million pluses because this gauntlet sucks. And let's finally get back to the graph. The y axis here is look, and the x axis is actually just time in seconds. And yeah, let's go to the table. H is pole light core, G is dark shader and yeah it is about like two look but as soon as you start adding up the boosts it adds up let's add something random like a zombie potion to the base look and yeah the number starts going up a lot four and let's do some extra stuff get vip plus calculate how much look with vip plus and stuff like that simply go over here and you do brackets over everything and then you do if you're just using normal vip 1.2 vip and vip plus 1.3 or if you're using xyz2 you just the 1.3 and then you just add another two onto here and that's pretty much it but if we want to find out just with vip plus how the gap becomes even worse 1.3 to dark shader and yeah it's a bloodbath it becomes three difference and three look might not seem a lot when you're in like the 30s and 40s of average look per second but this starts changing a lot eventually if you do like a hundred thousand rolls there's like a three hundred thousand or 30 million percent look difference if you use the dark shader over the core like core it's really bad and if we go to this table of course just using it normally just without a gravitational is pretty bad and with gravitational it comes slightly close but gravitational device is the inferior gauntlet so now to summarize just to tell you guys again i'm pretty sure that the dark shader is about 20 percent better than the pole light core at base look with neuralizer but after this nerf the gauntlet has become absolutely useless unless you got it as an event gauntlet because if you didn't get it during the spin wheels at the event it's not worth crafting unless it gets nerfed down to a tier 
seven and it's a lot easier to craft and if you're not on the most world the leaderboard ignored it completely and if you were on most world you probably would have gotten it from the spin wheels already so crafting recipe is useless devs adding it there just to catch out people that didn't watch this video or didn't actually pay attention to the gauntlet look this is a certified don't craft if I could, if I was on both rolls, I'd be doing this right now. I think my alt's gonna be doing this because this is just a better gauntlet. But for now, unless they bring it back to its former glory. So yeah, all that I'm saying is please like and subscribe if you guys just want a lot of look. You guys want to get global. You guys want to see me cook because I'm stuck with this gauntlet forever. And well, goodbye.